So today, tiny bonus video on Snapchat. I will never shut up about it. But I wanted to show you something that I discovered right after I made my last video. So since to me it was something really important and incredible to incorporate to your backgrounds, I just wanted to show you. So it will be a quick video, but I hope it will be helpful to you. So today I present you mirrors and glass floors. I mean, you can turn everything into glass, but let me show you. So this is a background that I prepared for my webtoon and as you can see it's like in a rainy day. So first let's talk about glass floors and other objects you can make reflective. It's really the easiest things to do here. So you just have to select the part you want to turn into glass and then you just right click on it and you have a ton of options right here but today the one we are using is modify material. You have your material here, you can also change the texture of course but here the option I want to show you so just feel free to you know play with the other options but I wanted to show you the metallic option that you will turn on and ta-da you have glass floors really really wanted to show you that because it's just giving the final touch of the background. Yeah, I'm saying final touch of every option of Snapton. You can do this with a lot of stuff. So let's take the model Put it here, use existing and ta-da! So you have a pretty model here. So this model is from Snapton Warehouse. You can find it in the white, white one set because there is a white and black one set so it's in the white one. So if I want to turn this tiny pot right here into glass, you just select it, right click on it, modify material and then turn it into metallic and ta-da! So feel free to play with this option. And now you probably want to see how I make the mirrors reflective, but unfortunately, so when you just select the mirror, modify material, and you make it metallic, it's not perfectly reflective, but don't worry, okay, I asked the dev and they told me that it was under development, okay, so please, <laughs> please wait a little bit for that. There is still a way to have proper reflective mirrors, so in order to have proper reflective mirrors, you have to go on Snapton Warehouse and buy from Snaptoon Warehouse because the developer of Snaptoon actually has the options to make it really reflective but again it's under development for you to be able to do it by yourself after but for now it's only when you buy from the Snaptoon Warehouse so let me show you let me just take the bedroom here so you have here the um, SKP file but as long as you have the Snaptoon file here you will have reflective mirrors so you can find Snaptoon models on Acon3 or Snaptoon Warehouse so here you have a model with reflective mirrors. Let me show you. It's just so, like, so pretty. Show you. Ooh, sorry, I just have nails on, so I just cannot use my keyboard. I'm sorry. So as you can see here, the mirrors are reflective, like so pretty. Uh, uh, what, what the hell? Oh my god. Okay, it's possessed, but it's okay. It's okay. The model is just possessed. Okay, it was. It's okay. So that's it. That's all you have to know for today. So just when you want to turn something into glass, just right click on it and modify material. And for the mirrors, you just have to have some 3D models under snaptoon.exe. So please just wait a little bit. Okay, again, the Snaptoon developer just told me that it was under development. And talking about development, here are some questions you asked me. You are asking me a lot of these questions and I just wanted to answer, like, you know, <laughs> just for you to have the information after all. Talking about development, yes, there is a Mac or iPad version under development. The Snapton dev again told it was under development, so please just wait a little bit. For now, it's not available. It's only for PC, so you just have to be a bit patient, I'm sorry. Another question, uh, Snapton doesn't open or is crashing when I try to open it. Just try to open it as admin. You always have to open Snapton as admin. So just right click on it, properties, and open as admin. Another question was, Snapton is lagging on my computer. What should I do? Snapton is still an engine and as well as Photoshop or SketchUp or any other heavy software, you will have to at least have a good computer to launch it. And so that's it for this tiny video and the questions that come with it. Please feel free to ask other questions in the comments always in a nice way please see you in the next video bye bye